Hey guys, today I want to show you guys the best dental software ever made. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in a previous video, this one here, I shared a new stencil script with you guys, and I told you guys that all the money I made from that would be going into making a newer and much better version. Well today, I've got something really cool to show you guys. But first, I just want to say a very special thank you to everyone that's clicked the join button on this channel and actually become a member. It's because of you guys that this was actually possible and all those comments and all the feedback you guys gave me actually made me think this was actually a really good idea. And let's just take this a next step further and create something really cool that will help you guys get your artwork to the next level. So. Now, let's jump into Photoshop and show you guys this awesome new plugin. So, in Photoshop, once you've actually installed the plugin, you'll notice this little tab pop up. And all you need to do is click Show Stencils and BAM! Here is our awesome new plugin that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Now, the first big upgrade I want to show you guys is this cool preview window. So, this preview window will actually show you guys all of the adjustments before you actually commit to making your stencils and it'll show you live. The next big upgrade is the number of layers. Right now I've got it set to about 12, but you can actually take this all the way down to two and any number in between. I'm gonna show you leave this at 12 at the moment and as you saw, you can actually see the live preview of each number of layers, which really makes a huge difference and makes it much easier to create your stencils, I find. The next upgrade was the edge detail. So of course, as you go down, you get a really realistic style of stencil if that's what you're into or you can take this up and create some really smooth edges and create a really unique style of stencil if that's what you're into as well. And you could almost create a unique style just based off this. I'm gonna just take this down to two for today's little demo. And the next couple of adjustments are just to do with the corner markers. So as you know, lining up each layer is really important. So you wanna make sure you get your corner markers in exactly the right place. Um, with the previous version, you couldn't actually see this with a preview window, so you're kind of typing in some random numbers and really trying to guess where they were. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, but with this preview window, it makes it so much easier. So once you've got these settings adjusted to where you like, the next big thing is the ability to adjust each individual layer to your liking before you commit to it. So for today's little demo, I'm gonna just take this down. With six layers, I can do something pretty cool, I find. Now the next thing is I'm gonna play around with each individual layer and try to create something cool. So now I'm gonna go down to each individual layer and show you some other cool features. The next big upgrade is the ability to adjust each color. So the lowest being the darkest, you kind of want that to be black, so I'm gonna select that. And you can notice that I kind of have a little bit too much black. So all you need to do is drag this down to a point where you are happy with it. You get some nice detail in the eyes, around the head, and that looks pretty good to me. Maybe you can also adjust the edge detail if you want a little bit more detail. And you kind of just find that balance, something that looks good to you. And you can almost see with this preview window how much easier it really makes it. It really does make a huge difference. So now I'm gonna go through each of these little boxes and choose some really cool colors and show you what this can really do. So I've actually already got a little bit of a palette that I wanna experiment with. That's got a really nice, cool sort of Halloween vibe to it and would work perfectly with this image. So now I've got some nice dark aqua. I'm just gonna click on these and type in some previous codes that I set. And there we go. And feel free to Take a note of these numbers and play with these if you want to. Got some nice greens going here and work them away from the darkest up to the lightest. And a nice light green for my lightest color. Something like that, hit OK, and look at that. Got some awesome vibes going here already. Now all I need to do is just adjust the threshold for each layer which, as you can see, happens live with the preview, which is so awesome. It makes such a big difference. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And as you sort of bring these down, you get more of each individual color. And you could spend hours playing with these individual adjustments. It's really fun. I think you guys would really like it, and I think this would make it really easy for the beginner too. So once you're happy with each of these sort of settings, all you need to do is hit 
OK, and bam, look at this. I've just set up this little animation. This one actually happened in Photoshop, but I just wanted to illustrate to you guys how it actually separates each individual layer. So as you can see, you get the biggest one at the bottom, and like a cake, it sort of slowly works its way to the top, creating the smaller, smaller, and smaller, except for black. I sort of put that on last, so you get some crisp edges and some more definition. And once you've got your layers set up like that, all you need to do is export them. You can either print them or you can send them to your Cricut and then you can cut them out of your paper. So this is what they would look like when they're cut out of paper. Here's layer one, two, three, four, five, and six. And how easy is that? Now that we've done all that, I know exactly what you guys are thinking. Where can I get this? What you can do is go up to your plugins tab in Photoshop and all you need to do is click browse plugins. And once you're in this sort of creative cloud desktop, and you can just search Wicked Sten Stencils. And where you'll find it is this little plugin down here. Click on that, and here is our awesome plugin. So we've gone fully legit with this. I've actually submitted this plugin to Adobe, and they've actually gone through and checked it to make sure it meets their standards. And this will actually work on both Windows and Mac. All you need to do is have the latest version of Photoshop that is compatible with this. Um, and from here, you can download it. Right now, it's listed for 20 bucks, which is a bit steep, I know. But if you're a member of this channel, I'll be giving out discount codes to every member. So you can actually go in and download it for free. And that gives you another option to actually save a bit of money as well, because the membership of this channel is way cheaper than the price I listed on Adobe Marketplace, FYI. So now that we've done that, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a painting video. I hope you guys try this little plugin out because I know it will help you. And I'll be making heaps of video guys to show you exactly what this can do. So 